Howdy, and welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew Pizgatti, and we're still talking about the drip garden today. Now, we're going to do something a little different. If you've been watching this content, you're likely already an investor in the drip BUSD garden, part of the animal farm, the drip network ecosystem. This video is actually for those who are not invested in this at the moment, who are curious about it, wondering what it is, and are looking for a completely honest review of not only what the whole concept is, what the protocol is of this DeFi game, but also what they can expect if they were to invest in it right now. So if they were to put money in it right now, is it, is it going down? Uh, is it falling apart? Is it, is it collapsing in on itself? Do we think there's longevity? Is it going to last? You know, some of those types of questions that someone who was looking at it and thinking about it coming in uh, may have and wants to ask someone who is already invested and who has been compounding for a moment. I've been in, uh, I guess, over two weeks, maybe almost three weeks now. So I can offer a lot of that perspective. And, and I've seen a lot of the questions in the Telegram chats um, that are asked over and over again. And I think we can cover a lot of those as well as just offer some insight. Um, you know, my own personal thoughts on the matter. Would I be recommending it to someone right at this moment, why or why not? What are some reasons that I wouldn't recommend it, you know, depending on your risk, your tolerance level? So we're going to cover all of those topics, and we're going to try to kind of step through those in the most uh, honest and completely open way a as we can. And before we dive into all of that, you're going to hear this on any video in the, the DeFi, the crypto space because it really helps you know, protect us as a disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I am not at the end of the day going to recommend that you do invest in this or that you don't, um, only because I wouldn't recommend anyone invest in anything. I wouldn't even tell my, my own friends and family, yes, get in this or don't, even if I knew it was going to explode the next day. Um, you know, I was 100% confident I still wouldn't recommend that because at the end of the day, this is your money. This is your funds that you worked hard for, most likely, hopefully. And you're trying to put them somewhere, and you're looking into ways that you can increase what you have. Um, and some of these games, some of these gambles, some of these, these crypto, I don't, want, I don't want to say schemes, but protocols and contracts and, and code that people have created to kind of gamify this and do it in a fun way, really do have a lot of potential and there are millionaires being made there are people making thousands and thousands of dollars there's also people you know, and, and that's daily on some of these depending on how much they invested to start with but there's also people losing a lot of money and there's a lot of projects and protocols in this space that do lose money and that's just the way it is we know that's the way it is so all that aside understanding that this whole time in the channel all i've been doing is documenting what i'm doing that I am invested in some of these and so we're seeing if I lose money we're seeing if I make money but but all that aside let's dive in to the drip slash BUSD garden now this here the drip BUSD that's because this is a a paired token a, an LP a li liquidity pool token which is partially the drip token and partially BUSD which is a coin that is set against you know, the U.S. dollar. So this is kind of a stable coin. And then this is DRIP. And if you're not familiar with DRIP, what that, what that token is, and where all that kind of started, um, the base for all of this is this contract, this protocol here, the DRIP Network Faucet. So this came first. And even though all of these games that are in this network or in this ecosystem are considered high risk. Um, between the two, the garden is considered more high risk, and the faucet was the was the. I, I don't want to say precursor because the faucet is still going uh, strong as far as what it is and what it was made to do. And what that is is, this is essentially a fork off of the coding for Flow. I believe was the previous uh, contract protocol. And Forex Shark, you'll hear that name a lot if you're looking into this ecosystem, did create that fork. I think he's the main dev. There are others on his team. And the, what the faucet does is you're using this 
token, this coin called Drip, and you deposit that, and you get a steady 1% per day. Now, you're getting a 1% return on the amount of Drip that you deposit into the faucet. And uh, the white paper here is very informative. We're not talking about the Drip Network faucet specifically in this video, but I recommend you go through the white paper. Um, as always, there's links in the description to all of these sites if you want to check them out. The white paper is very informative. You'll see things uh, like all of the, the whale taxes, which are essentially fees depending on how much you hold of the, of the whole pool of the system. Um, and all of, all of these things that are built in were an improvement over the last um, iteration of this to create longevity, to create something that would last. Um, and I think I, I say this in every video because I haven't gone back to check the, uh, the first starting date, but I, I think this is about uh, a year, almost a year running, or it will be soon if it hasn't hit that yet. So this is the faucet. You can get 1% of your deposits you can see I don't have a very large amount of drip in right now. Um, and you can get up to 365%. So for me right now, that's 4.418 drip. And then there's a total max of 100,000 drip. And when you hit that, you, you max out. And that's to, to keep this from, because obviously you can compound these every day. You can compound your 1% back into the system and that would climb very rapidly. It, it does, uh, you know, you can just do a simple compounding calculator to, to look at that, figure that out. Um, that does climb, cr climb rapidly. Excuse me, I can, I can speak, I, I swear. And uh, so that'll, that'll climb rapidly without those limits in place to kind of restrict the whales from selling everything off at one time, you know, whales being the largest wallets in the system, to kind of prevent those people from selling off all at once. They can only claim what their available is for that day to begin with, and then further than that, they have extra taxes or fees or percentages um, on the things that they claim. So that helps keep a lot of that in check. But so out of the two of these, the garden on the animal farm site is considered um, higher risk. And the idea with the garden was that you could get, you'd pair this LP token, throw it into the garden. And the idea was that you could get a three, up to a 3% return and we'll see what this kind of says on the page. The, the white paper has more information as well. But the idea here is that you get a 3% return. And what determines that 3% is how often you're compounding versus how often you're withdrawing. So planting seeds versus harvesting. And that was one, one component, one mechanism of, of this game that you're being compared to other people in the game. So those who are the av what, what is considered the average, who are compounding however often they compound, harvesting as often as they, as they do, the average user, you're being compared against that metric and that up to 3% reward daily that you could receive is based on that, is based on are, are you performing on par or at least you know, on par with the average user or better? You know, what, how are you compounding? Are you compounding responsibly? Or are you harvesting every day? In which case, your daily rewards go down. And then here's kind of a chart. This is just the developer's way of, of explaining that this other metric is that he's increasing buying power over time. So what that means is that when this first started, the plants, and, and that's the two components of this game, is that there's plants and then seeds. You have plants. And then those plants drop seeds. This is how many I'm getting a day. And you can compound those seeds back into the garden. You can use those to make more plants. And then in turn, those plants make more seeds. But he, the way he's built this is that the price of plants to start with when this all launched was over $30. I'm not sure where, where it was. And I got in at about $6. And so that, in, that drop in plant value is on purpose. It's built into the system. It, we're, we've been calling it decay in the Telegram chats, and I don't, I don't know if the developers ever referenced it in that way, but we use the word decay to describe that decline in the plant price. And it's based on some of these things. It's based on the contract balance, the total contract balance, which is actually a little down right now. And it also has a time bonus which I believe is 1% per day. So every day that this 
contract this game is active, um, some decay is happening, and then also depending on how high the contract balance goes up. And so what that means, uh, the idea was that if you come in with plants as they are right now at $3, somewhere around there, you could buy a somewhat equivalent amount of plants as I was able to buy two or three weeks ago at over $6 a plant. So that's, that's kind of the concept there is that you could get caught up quicker in your compounding because you're able to buy more plants um, from the get-go even if you didn't get in on this uh, when this launched. So, of course, this is how I explained here, the time multiplier designed to attract new waves of capital after we've reached saturation and the contract growth has slowed due to the buying power of capital creeping up. Yeah. So he's saying there will always be a time in the future when it makes sense for fresh capital to come in and kickstart a new wave of gardeners. And we're going to talk about um, if that's working or how that's working and where we're kind of at in that process because there has been a significant amount of decay over time and we're going to talk about why that is and why why some of it's inflated i was just glancing through the white paper one more time in case there was something i missed to explain this to a new or newer person who has not been uh really exposed to this and you're, you're trying to figure out what what the heck this is and if it's worth it and so we're just glancing back through the white paper i, I suggest you read all of this if you're interested in the animal farm and the drip network in general. Um, there is a, a referral process. If you share your link, you can get seeds from people when they first jump into the garden, when they, whenever they add new capital, I should say, if they use your link when they do that. Just some um, mention of strategy here. Best to get an early start and then compound as much as possible to grow as large of, large of a pot garden as possible. So that's, that's some tips there. So when I came in, I only added about maybe 30, 35 plants. This is not so reflective of that only because um, I have gotten a few boosts from referrals. Not, not huge amounts, but enough that it made a difference. Um, there's been enough lull in between my referrals that I can still show you the steady decay or increase in... Um, how much I would be making. So we'll, we'll look at that as well. Now I have a spreadsheet in some of my other videos that I use to estimate some portions of the garden. And you're not going to understand a lot of these uh, metrics to start with. So let me just plug in a few numbers based on where we are right now. This is the value of the, and I will link this scheduler as well, but it won't, this site won't do you any good unless you're actually inv invested because you, you do put your wallet address here. Um, but this drip BUSD value, so this is the paired token value. This is what we paired to buy plants, right? Now, this is not the sellable asset, by the way, plants. The developers will reiterate that over and over again. Seeds are what you're selling. Now, so the price of plants, in a way, does matter. It matters at the time that you decide to harvest because one plant equals, what, 2.592 million seeds would equal, and that's what you would be cashing out for this much LP. So this, this value doesn't really matter except when you buy in and when you're harvesting. In between that, when you're compounding, that plant value really doesn't matter. Um, it's more important about how much LP you're getting per day. Um, but we're going to see how that's affected by this LP token price anyway. So let me plug in a few numbers. We're at 29.9031. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm, we're first going to look at this estimator to see where we could be at depending on how many plants we have. Um, let me pull up my calculator. I know I'm sharing my window here, uh, so you're not going to see this pop up. But let's say that you want to throw in about 1,000. And so at, at least equivalent to, at, at least in the dollar value that's equivalent to the amount of LP. If you were buying around $1,000 worth of plants right now, I think after fees and everything, it puts you about 320, but I'm gonna estimate down a bit just because we know how crypto works with gas fees and all the transaction fees. And I'm just gonna do an easy number anyway. Let's say you're around 300. Now, the next, the next, the big estimation here that we can't really, we can't accurately estimate 
uh, I should say one of the variables we can't estimate. Uh, for one, you can ignore these gas fees. These are not going to be accurate. Um, I've thrown them in as an estimation for people who are already invested, but these aren't accurate here. So we're really only looking at this. Uh, we're going to look at LP per plant, or, or our daily LP is what we'll be looking at, and our daily possible return. Um, so the one variable we don't know is is really these these two numbers, and this decay affects this number over time, and this LP estimate, the value of the LP token, changes this um, this amount here, the uh, how much a two point how much a plant is worth in LP. This changes that over time as well. So we really don't know those two numbers. But the way I'm trying to estimate the fall of that over time is by putting in a percent of decay. Now we know that 1% is the time decay. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to outpace that decay with compounding, which is possible in certain, in certain scenarios. And that's why this is a little, a little higher risk because right now we're seeing the value of the LP token, the dollar value, it is falling. It's fallen from about... 39, 40, I think it was over 40. It was about 39 when I got in. And so we've seen it fall quite a bit. Um, and so the amount of decay that I would expect, which when it's normal, when it's doing what it should, when, when new capital's coming in and when um, the LP value, the dollar value is not falling, I've been seeing this about 1.5. It's been about 1.5% of a decay is what I'm seeing. And, and so you can see a really positive outlook if we're only falling about 1.5. If I were to get in at 300 plants, that I'm at $30 a day. Now, I'm, you're, I wouldn't expect to compound. So this is, or I'm sorry, I wouldn't expect to harvest any time in probably the first month or two. I think that's one of the big things that should be made clear about this project is that it is a long-term project. It's meant to be uh, some some longevity. Uh, the developer has said this multiple times. He doesn't build these short term projects that are meant to throw money into and get out and get rich quick. Even drip those who made a million dollars or what have you. Those whale accounts. It still took them most of this last year. You know they got in when drip, the token, the coin was twenty dollars, was thirty dollars, all the way up until it was over a hundred something. And so they rode that up. It would have taken them even longer of compounding and and redeposit, uh, you know, compounding before they could claim anywhere near that amount. And so that was kind of a lucky draw for them that the price went up. But and in my estimation, I think we're actually going to have a dip and then go and go back up. But we'll talk about that in in a little bit, uh, a little bit later on in this in this overview. Because remember, we're doing an honest review. I'm trying to cover all of the caveats that come along with the drip garden. But so you can see if this is the amount of decay, if we stuck around here, which means that this is not dropping, actually we hope it goes up. If we assume that the LP estimate, the LP dollar value is not going up, or I'm sorry, it's not going down. We're making that assumption here. And if this rate decays at about 1.5%, this is where we end up. About 60 days, we go from $30 a day to $84 a day. When we hit uh, about 100 days, what, we're at $169 a day. Now, remember that I told you about the, the ratio of how often we can compound versus how often we harvest. And remember that we're trying to perform on par or better than the average user in the system as far as our ratio of compounding versus harvesting. So we have to keep that up. So I, I would not actually say that this is per day. Even though this is the dollar amount that we could harvest every day, most people recommend a, a strategy that's closer to harvesting two days out of the week and then compounding the rest of the time so that we don't lose momentum. Because the best, the best way to describe that is basically this is, this is how many plants you would be adding every day if you're compounding. If you, comp if you harvest a few days in a row, you're going to be losing momentum, right? And so you're going to be knocked back down to this 163, 160, 158, somewhere in there, um, just because you've lost time in compounding, and so the decay is kind of caught up to you a little bit. So it's like we're constantly trying to outrun that decay that's built into the contract. And you can see how this, this goes on and on 
where we're trying to we're compounding this many plants a day and then this is the daily we could harvest although we can't the the reason that this isn't out as outlandish as you might think it is these rewards um, and how you might think that would hurt the project is that I think there is a percentage tax when you withdraw for one and I think it's only like five percent or something like that if if there is in the garden I know the rest of the ecosystem has fees and taxes like that so it makes sense that there is one I'll have to double check I don't know if that's in the white paper um, but then we also have to remember that this is not actually daily you couldn't actually harvest this for say 20 days in a, in a, in a row you'd be missing out because of the decay you'd be falling and falling back um, and so you wouldn't outpace it so this is a long-term project something you're meant to compound on for a while and then when you do harvest those, there's other places in the animal farm that you could stick those LP tokens. For instance, there's a farm. You could stick drip USD here and earn pigs. But I think that's kind of a separate a separate video. But it is it is important to, to note that this whole ecosystem is connected, that you could... Um, there's a whole circle of, of life with this where you could break that token apart and you could put drip back into the faucet. Or you could, you know, put it in this farm here to get pigs, and then you can use those pigs in the pig pen. Or pair those with uh, BUSD into a different LP token, and you'd be able to participate in the piggy bank, which I've made a, a couple videos on, but not, not a whole lot yet, since I'm not heavily invested there. So that's the basic overview of the drip garden. And so those are the main caveats, I think, that people would, would have liked to have been made aware of if... If they didn't know before they hopped in um, and let's let's kind of run, run run through those again in more of a like a bulleted type list uh, one caveat is gas everything in crypto on the binance smart chain on any of these chains do require gas for transactions so every time you compound you're going to be paying a gas fee and so if you're compounding multiple times a day you'll be paying that now as long as this decay is only around this amount and if this goes back up like I'm hoping it will, we're gonna, if we see that upswing, then a lot of the gas fees per day aren't really going to matter. Now, this I told you is inaccurate uh, because you may not be compounding every single plant. Now, that is something to note. There, this, the reason we, a lot of us like this scheduler here is that it shows you every planting time. You don't have to compound every plant. But if you do try to compound in between your planting times, because it, it, takes times for those, it takes time for those seeds to drop, if you try to compound in between, you are going to lose seeds. You see here, I'm, I would almost lose a whole plant because 2,592,000 seeds make one plant. I'm almost there. It, this is going to be ready in nine minutes. So I'm going to compound as close to or as possible like right after this strikes. This page will move to say two plants are available, and that's when I'm going to uh, compound here to make sure I don't lose any seeds, and that'll that'll keep you on track as well, so that you can outpace that decay. So we we're talking about caveats. One is gas. Depending on how many times a day you compound, you're going to pay a gas fee. If this goes back up, like I would love it to, or as I'm bullish to think that it will, somewhere like 38, um, we're going to see a better. Uh, we're going to see this climb quicker, or it'll, it'll just look better. It'll, it'll speed up the uh, time that it'll take you to get to these goals. So if your goal is 100, 100 a day, you know, that's 57 days out for me if it, was, if it swings back up. Or, you know, how far is it out? It's 72 days out. So it's not a huge difference. But especially for those who have been in the garden, um, this extreme dip is making it look like it's it's a it's a struggle because this is dropping at the same time that this value is dropping due to the normal decay and when that happens we don't actually see you know a one a one five decay we see something closer to like a two percent or a three percent you know some days it's four percent averaged out over enough a long enough timeline it's not that high or averaged out over two weeks it's really not that high but to some people, it looks like they're seeing these uh, these three percent, four percent rates, and you can see that makes the climb a lot slower, and it's and it's harder to feel like you're getting ahead. 
even though you are still likely very slowly getting ahead, depending on how often you compound. So gas fees can vary. Um, this LP amount can vary. And when this goes down, it makes it look like the percent of decay is increasing. So what's, what are the, the good news regarding that? The good news regarding at least, these, and, this, and this is crossing even more into completely my opinion, no, f nothing that I can you know, advise you on because I can't tell you if you should invest or, or not, but I can tell you that I'm extremely bullish in the drip network, the ecosystem, the system as a whole due to all the things that the developer has not only hinted but outright said were coming down the pipe. And so that's things like uh, this partnership with Chainlink, this partnership with uh, an NFT system, a uh, partnership with a game that's going to be in the metaverse. Um, there's a gambling game. There's a lending protocol where you could borrow off a drip without having to take drip out of the system. Um, there's listings on more mainstream decentralized indexes of co tokens and coins. So there's a lot of bullish things coming down the line, but we are seeing a dip right now. And, you know, if that were to continue, obviously if this LP estimate keeps dropping, and if you were seeing something like a, if you really were seeing something consistent, like 4% over time, well, this is going to look like it's dropping. And, and I think we're hovering right on that edge, and I don't know where that's exactly at, where people are just barely getting... Uh, a lot of people, if they're not compounding every single plant as often as possible, they are seeing what looks like more decline than gain. And so that's what I, that's the main thing people would probably prefer that I'm as honest about as possible in this in this video is that even though I'm extremely bullish that this LP estimate, which is this value right here, I think this is going to come back up because this is linked to drip. And I think drip is going to come back up after it hits um, whatever its lowest point is. And let's see if I have the price up right here. Because it's been dropping for a moment, and it's down to about 60, no, 70. We may have found a little bit of a floor on 70 today. We'll see. Uh, look at that. Yeah, so this has been dropping. And just to give you a little context, if you're completely new to the whole drip ecosystem, the Animal Farm, the Animal Farm did have a new project launch, which is a different LP token. It actually doesn't include drip. It's part of some of these other farms and pools. And so we think the biggest adoption of this came from within the drip ecosystem. And I say we, meaning probably those of us who are still you know, bullish in this system. And so there's been some wealth transfer out of drip, which I think caused part of that dip in the drip uh, token. And not only that, but we have the world markets crashing and all the stuff with Russia and everything else that's going on. And then people panic sell because they see the drop and it's just, and then uh, we also have some of the biggest wallets in drip finally hitting their maximum. I told you about uh, the faucet that there is a 300, well, there's a hundred K maximum of drip. And so some of them are going to be cashing in for maybe the next month or two. Um, but as far as I'm aware, there's nothing in this whole contract that doesn't prevent or that does prevent us from, let's say we hit, you know, this 20 again, that's pretty low. But then we just start the whole process over again. We, that's such an attractive rate that I think we'll see a lot of buy-in back in, uh, people starting new wallets and compounding again, and then hopefully we'll get this steady upward explosion again so that we can all get to even more all-time highs. And, and this is all, all opinion, all conjecture. This is all my opinion on, on the matter. But that's what I'm expecting is to see this drip BUSD swing back up. I'm bullish on it. Um, and if that happens, then... Even if you haven't been outpacing decay or it doesn't look like it, you've been kind of stagnant. Remember that the value of the plants, that $3, whatever they cost, this is going to keep dropping. It'll be a dollar. It'll be 0 .0005, whatever it is when you get to the point where you can harvest when this comes back up, which I'm hoping it will. At that point, you're going to be at, you know, what, what will you be at? We'd be at 3,000 plants. We'd be at 4,000 plants. So it'll be that multiplied times whatever the LP is you're getting a day, and then times whatever this is, whatever the dollar amount of that is. Um, but there's no guarantee of that. There's no guarantee that this contract balance will come back up. I think it will. It'll become more attractive um, if drip swings back up. But we have to be fully transparent about that, that if um, you know all those new launches that the developer is working on 
don't come along, then we may not see that big benefit that we're looking for. So, and then let's, let's look at some of the charts just so you can get a full example of what I'm talking about as far as that decay. Now, you'll see this one big jump here recently. I think that was a number of referrals that I received. But without those big peaks of what are, might be a referral of seeds, you'll see that along the uh, standard times, the times in between, that my daily LP is still increasing. So look over on the right there. I've got 1.051. 1.052, 1.053. Now, because of that drop in the drip BUSD LP value, it doesn't look like it's climbing as much as it should. It's, it should climb faster than that normally with compounding, but 1.055, 58, and then we'll ignore this big jump because it was it, it was uh, probably a refer a big referral. Um, 146, 147, 147 still it looks like. Is that one four? Oh, we're at we're at the gray. Okay, one five six. Then back down to five four, five six. Uh, and I did I didn't compound this whole day. This was a weekend, so it dropped down. Uh, let's see, one five six, one four seven, one five two, five four, and then today I'm I'm seeing some dip, probably because I'm not compounding as often or because this is still taking a hit. This was hovering around, and, and this, is, this is a good example of what I'm talking about. When it's hovering here around that 31, 32, I'm seeing that steady increase that I should. But when this LP value drops another, another $2 worth, down to 29, almost $2 worth, that's when you will see your daily LP is dropping. Um, and, I, and I've explained this in some of my, my other videos, but there are two components that I've, I've, you may have already kind of gotten the gist of. This does go down, and it's supposed to. It's made to over time. But sometimes that decay, that downward momentum, is exaggerated by the drop in the drip BUSD price. And that means this can either A, come back up over the course of a couple days, or B, it'll just stay stagnant and slow down as far as the decay. And then you would see in those instances when that happens, which I'm bullish on and hoping that it, that it, this comes back up, you'll see this LP, your daily LP grow. Because we don't really care about the value until it's time to harvest, and we're compounding like crazy. Compound interest is amazing and, and should outpace the decay if everything else is right. But um, you'll see your daily LP rise, and then as long as this is going up or not suffering, then we should be in a good place to harvest maybe a couple times a week on the, on the weekends. And so here's, you can kind of see the decline. This is the number of LP per seeds. And there is supposed to be that one or one and a half per percent decline. That's normal. Um, but this is just more rapid than it should be. And of course, it's not helped by uh, the contract balance going kind of stagnant. I still think that is due to people going into the piggy bank, other pieces of the animal farm. Um, but, you know, that, that it's the honest truth. That's where it is right now. It's, it's dropped. Um, as those plant prices go down to become more attractive, you know, where they're only around $3, they're going to be $2, $1. Um, if you can get some people in who are bullish about drip, which I think we could, especially if it hits like a low floor and then starts heading back up, they're going to buy into the garden as well because it'll be very likely to come back up and, and make a lot. And so at that $1 point for a plant, they may buy a 1000 um, because that's something to note as well. If you were at a thousand plants, this is your compounding is already much higher. You're going to see a bigger jump every single day. Uh, well, I still have this outrageous decay on. You're going to see a bigger jump every day once you're at those levels, and then only you know 30 days in, you can see how much I'm jumping every day on the the dollar value, and that gets kind of out of control. It's fun to look at, fun to estimate. But I think that's the most honest uh, overview of, of drip that we could. You know, here's the numbers. Here's how it's decaying right now. We want that LP value to go up, and I think that it will. But there's no way we could guarantee, guarantee that. Here, I'm going to go ahead and compound a plant while I'm here. We can't guarantee that that'll swing back up. But for those of us who are already invested in it, obviously we're going to keep compounding like mad 
to see if we can outpace that, that decay, or at the bare minimum, we'll have many more plants when it comes time to harvesting or when we, will want, when we want to be harvesting. So if you decide to get in, if you want to, um, yeah, I have links in, in the description if you think it's worth the risk for you. It is a high-risk project. We don't know that the LP BUSD is going to come back um, up, but I think it will with drip because of all the reasons I've mentioned that I'm bullish on drip. If that comes back up, then the drip slash BUSD LP token will come back up, and that's really what I would like to see. So I'm not, I'm not shilling this project uh, just blindly. I'm not telling you to just go buy into it. I would never suggest that. But after seeing all that information, if you read through the white paper, if you still think as well as I do that there's promise in this lower value when you can come in, um, you may want to wait till drip is, is lower. If I was going to advise anything, I would wait to see if drip keeps falling. If, if I were, weren't invested yet, that would probably be the only advice I would give is that I think a better strategy would be, if it were me, is I would see if drip network, the, the coin for drip keeps falling and see if we hit some kind of floor, maybe around like this 50 point again. Uh, see if we hit like a 50 or somewhere around here. If it, if it goes under 50, it breaks under it, then we're probably heading back down to like this 25, somewhere around there. Um, and then if I had enough free liquid liquid capital to throw in, that's that's probably one of those one of those points I would throw it in. Maybe even DCA, you know, dollar cost average at the 50 and then at the 25. Um, if it were me, that might be what I would do. And so just just some of those things to keep in mind. There is up to that 3% daily return, and that should outpace the decay, and you should see an increase, and it should be higher than what the drip faucet is. But it is going to be higher risk because. Um, because of, of that decay and because you're kind of competing with other people for a compounding ratio, you know, those kind of things matter. I mean, even, but even look at this, you know, even with this big decay, 147, 147. I didn't actually have a, a drop today. This just hadn't updated. So my daily LP after that last compounding is about the same place I was at the end of the day. Yeah, uh, is that yesterday? Or that was earlier today. So, so stagnant is good. You know, and, and I think there's still that slow rise, even despite this fall. So that's another reason why I'm so bullish. If, th if this comes back up, which I hope it does, or else I wouldn't be participating in all the parts of the animal farm, everything else, there are places I could pull out of. I could pull any stake out of this farm. I could still still pull stake out of this dog's one that I'm in, which not very much. I only have like 57 cents in there. But um, the point is there are places I could take liquidity out or money out. Um, but I'm not because I'm, I'm, I have a positive outlook on the system. And that is actually the last caveat I want to add before I close this out. You may not be aware of in the drip garden, the faucet, the drip garden and the faucet and, uh, and the piggy bank even. This initial capital that you throw in here is locked in. It's, I don't want to say burnt, it is staked. It, it is staked, but you can't get it back. So it's adding liquidity, it's helping the whole project but you get your return so you get the seeds you can harvest the seeds you, that means you can sell them um you can cash them out for the lp and then break it apart whatever you want to do uh, but you don't get this value back so that's why the plant value also doesn't really matter along the way sure i have a thousand dollars worth of plants in here i probably only threw two hundred dollars worth of funds into this system so I've, my assets have climbed that's notable i can see that 1.153. Is this chart not reflecting? I'm getting a little little uh, distracted here. Oh, I should be at 153. So this will even pop up a little bit. That's great um, in, a, in a moment. But uh, which is better. Yeah, as long as this is climbing, I always tell people in my videos, as long as this is climbing or staying the same, we're probably making progress once this LP comes back up. Um, what was my point just now? Oh yeah, so even though I'm at 1,131 in assets, I can't sell those. I can sell these seeds, and every day I'm making more seeds that are, that are you know, being dropped that I could sell. But that's why we really don't care about the price of plants once we're in. We just care about it as an entry point, and because it represents this many seeds to this LP amount once we decide to harvest. That's the only reason we care about that. So hopefully that's been enough of a, you know, not, a not only a 30,000 foot overview, but also a, a pretty detailed look at the garden. Um, and the honest review, the conclusion is that 
I like where it's going. I think the price is becoming more attractive as it goes down. But this not being financial advice and even my friend's family, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them to get in. I would say you have to do your own research. You have to decide if you think this is going to swing back up. If the drip token swings back up, if it hits a low and then starts heading back up, then yes, it's, you know, this, this whole project will do really well. And if you've been compounding that whole time, you'll be sitting really pretty in the drip faucet and in the drip garden. As far as the faucet, I would wait to add more back in uh, when it hits that next low, whatever that may be. And so that's what I'm thinking on the, on the garden as well. That would be my advice. Now, it's been very long-winded, but hopefully I've covered all the caveats and the decay properly that, um, that you would be expecting to see right now and some of the bullish reasons that uh, you know, I'm positive that the system will come back from where it is. Um, whether that'll happen or not, we don't have a crystal ball, we can't predict. So that's it on the Drip BUSD Garden. I hope this has been informative. Uh, if you found the information helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. That's awesome. I don't recommend checking the button to receive notifications for all of my videos, only because they're not all about crypto. And you'll see some, uh, unless you just like some red dirt country, me doing my best at the guitar in my living room over here in uh, old Dallas, Texas, then you know, you're know you welcome to receive those notifications. Otherwise, just a like and a basic subscribe helps a lot. Uh, if you decide to get any of the into any of these, I've got links in the description, um, but I'm not shilling it hardcore or saying you're gonna be rich tomorrow. These are longer term and they're higher risk and they're made to compound over time and then get you to a better place where you can harvest and make some it's basically free funds on the side, but it is a gamble. So once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you who took the time to watch the content, and I will see you on the next video.